welcome back to another video. This is the final vlog for this 90 day challenge. I know, I don't know how we got here either, but somehow, some way, this challenge is coming to an end. I have opinions, I have feelings, I am a puddle of disappointment. I truly did think I would have a lot more footage for the final vlog and what has been the worst series I've ever had on my channel. No, <laughs> um, I thought I had a lot. I would have a lot more footage, but truthfully, I got caught up at about the end of the year stuff, setting goals, planning everything out so that I could start the year off strong and not have to worry about simple things like this. Um, and just simply didn't make time to do Swedish. I went through my books and brought them back to the library. I worked, you know, I did stuff like that. Spent time with my mom, worked out, because I'm getting back into working out. So that has been one of my main priorities when it comes to goals is working out. Um, but studying Swedish, no, I didn't do it. And I know one of the things I should do when I'm working out is put on some type of Swedish podcast. Use that hour that I work out as an hour of learning a language. But the honest truth is, I am not a fan of listening to a podcast while I work out. Some, I used to do YouTube videos and right now I'm just not in the mood to watch YouTube video while I work out, but right now I am in the mood to listen to music. That just really gets my blood going, gets me like excited and hyped and pumped. And I love Swedish music. I think it's so, so pretty. But what I've found so far, and maybe I'm just not looking in the right areas or getting the right recommendations off of Spotify, but what I've found is that a lot of the songs that I'm hearing are lighter and softer and kind of have a more sad tone. And I know not all Swedish music is like that. I know. I've heard Hun for me and Gua in. Like, I know. But that is like, I can't find too many of those. And maybe I need to look harder. Maybe deep down I'm not actually looking all that hard for the music that I need. But, um, yeah. So how did the last final days of this challenge go? They went just as poorly as the entire challenge itself went. Did I study Swedish every day of this challenge like I was supposed to? Nay, I did not. Um, did I you did I use my time appropriately? No, I did not. I have many opinions on the 90 days uh, language learning challenge overall, and I definitely wish I would have used this opportunity better because now I'm starting school in January. Fingers crossed. <laughs> and so I'm going to have a lot less time to dedicate to learning a language or languages if you've watched my goals for 2023 video. So... I'm not going to have as much time, so I wish I had used my 90-day uh, gap, my gap 90 days, to actually put so much effort into Swedish that I went from like an A1 to a B1 in 90 days. But I did not do that. I have regrets, and I think honestly, I'm taking these, I'm taking this regret into nine, to, into 2023. But I'm going to use this regret to help me find a better way to learn languages to help me figure out what actually works for me and what doesn't work for me. And I definitely want to talk about this uh, when Megan and I sit down together to make a video on kind of like our opinions and our thoughts on a 90 day language learning challenge. She has a different view of it than I do so I think it'll be a really fun discussion. But right now, this is all I have to say. So I'm so sorry that this vlog, these vlogs in general, just kind of weren't very good. I'm going to try and work on vlogging more and being better, being a better vlogger in the new year. But um, I'm sorry that if you came here hoping for me to be like, yes, this 90 day challenge works. It was so great. I can't answer that for you. I think the 90 day challenge depends on the type of person you are. And end of the year, 2022, me was just not... A very productive person and I don't want 2023 me to be that at all which is why I'm taking steps to change so speaking of taking steps I now need to go get ready for bed because I have a 6 a.m. wake-up call of my own accord so thank you all so much for watching this video if you've watched any of the other vlogs thank you so much I want to thank this person right here for the comment that they left on my last video in this 90 day challenge about lyric translation they said that it worked really really good for them uh, and they use it to learn Swedish through 
translating off of Google Translate of all places. So I'm definitely going to keep that in mind when I try to do this again in a more efficient, better way. But until then, I will see you guys all in my next video, perhaps my next Swedish vlog or some other random language learning vlog. And, uh, hey du, adios, goodbye, and hey, don't forget I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Mwah.